Hi guys, so today we're going to quickly look at how to update your Scringo SDK in your iOS project, in your BuzzTouch project. So if you go to the downloads section in the resources of Scringo and you download the latest release, in this case it's 2.1.10, a lot of cool new features, and I downloaded it. And I've already got it here. I took it from my uh, downloads folder onto my desktop. And you can see this is the Scringo folder. Now what I'm going to do is look at my BuzzTouch project. This is downloaded from my control panel at BuzzTouch. And if we go into the BT Core folder, we'll see that we see the Scringo folder. And that's the one that was downloaded with the project. So all we need to do is let's get rid of that folder, drag it to the trash, and let's open up Xcode, our project, and see what's going on now. Now if we look in our BT core folder here, Scringo, we want to delete this folder as well. Now all I'm going to do is go into this Scringo folder that I just downloaded from Scringo.com. I'm going to drag the Scringo folder, just the Scringo folder, into BT Core. It'll copy the items and all that. I'll hit Finish. And that's all there is to it. The code will stay the same that's in your project. I'll hit Run and see what we get. And here's our project with, you can see the Scringo ad pop up. You can see that I enabled it to open by a button tap up here. And there's Scringo working. So there you go. That's how you add a different, S, the newest SDK of Scringo to your project. Have a great day, guys.